A spate of recent violent crimes caught on tape. In Philadelphia, this man pulls a woman out of her car and takes off, leading to a wild chase that ends on foot where police finally arrest him. In Chicago, two men approach a woman and push her up against a wall. Police say they stole her belongings and ran off. In San Jose, California police say this man breaks the windows, snatches a purse from a woman sitting inside, and takes off in a getaway car. FBI data shows assaults and vehicle theft have increased from 2014 to 2020. So how can you protect yourself in some everyday scenarios? I enlist the help of former NYPD detective Mike Sapraconi, who is now the president of Squad Security. So here we are in a shopping center. What do we need to be aware of? You want to be at a place close to the location you're going. And park next to a lamppost, especially during the winter when it gets dark earlier. So, Mike, I feel like a common time that you're vulnerable is when you're just getting back from the store, you're distracted, you're putting things in your car. What do we need to know here? Pay attention. Look at your surroundings. Put the things in your car as quickly as possible. Check around. Make sure there's nobody else watching you or observing you. What if someone comes up and they want my purse? Give it to them. No fighting. Don't fight. Never fight. Give him your purse. Let him take your purse. What should I do when it comes to my car keys? I would put them in my pocket along with your phone on your person okay. rather than put them in the purse because if they snatch your purse, at least you still have a way to get out of here with your car. Cities across the country have reported spikes in violent carjackings. Watch this incident in broad daylight in the middle of New York City. Carjackings last year up 55% in New York, 63% in Minneapolis, and 85% in Philadelphia. It might sound counterintuitive, but some experts say part of the reason carjackings are increasing has to do with the fact that cars are more secure now than ever before. You've probably seen it in the movies. Thieves starting a car like this. Like, I do not a hotwire car. But nowadays, new cars rely on key fobs, and that makes it a lot harder for thieves to get away unless they have this. Remember to keep your car doors locked, even while driving. Mike says make sure your windows are up high enough that someone can't reach in. Mike, let's say I'm stopped and some people come up and they try to carjack me. What do I need to know? Always give them the car. Unless you have your children in the back seat or something, give them the car. It's not worth it. Mike, it's cold out. A lot of people like to warm up the car before they get in or they leave it running because they're going to go in the store real quick. What say you? No, definitely not. No, no value to doing that. It's an opportunity. When the thieves see the smoke coming, that's like a smoke alarm coming to them and saying, hey, there's a car. Let's take it. As for public transit, Mike says stay vigilant. He investigated many crimes where thieves targeted distracted riders. He says the risk starts when you enter. Be careful on the stairs, an easy place for pickpockets to snatch your valuables from behind. Vicky, I just got your phone. Your bag was wide open, you weren't paying attention, and it was so easy for me to just grab your phone out of your bag. So what should I do? Pay attention, move your bag to the front, lock your bag. And be aware of somebody walking behind you on the steps. Mike, what about this? A lot of times people are commuting, they put earbuds in. Bad idea. It, it just takes away one of your senses. You should never have something that can't let you hear everything that's going around you. Avoid the temptation to stand near the track and pay attention to anyone coming into your personal space. You know, people have a tendency, they want to see when the train's coming, they get close to the edge. What do you say about that? Step aside. Always step back. Stay six feet off the, the yellow. The yellow's there for a reason. When it's time to board, try to ride in the car with the conductor. In New York City, they always pull up to these zebra stripes. All right, Mike, so we get on the train. Where's the safest place to sit? I would always think the middle is the safest place, not by a door. Because okay. if you sit by a door, somebody can be lingering or they're watching you as the door's open and can snatch your bag. What if the train's crowded, there's no seats? Hold the pole, get by a pole right. in the middle of the train, mm -hmm. and put your purse between your body and the pole. Oh, okay. Some good reminders to help you stay alert and safe. And a bonus tip, if you're riding public transit in most cities, sit in the front car. That's usually where mm. the train operator is located. And if you're parking at the mall, just try to find a spot near that security booth in the parking lot. It's just a little extra assurance yeah. that someone's looking out for you. So you gave us like 20 yeah. good tips. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. And a good refresher, you. too. Just give yeah. him the car. Give him the car. By the way, I've walked through New York <laughs> with my backpack purse. unzipped. And you know how many people tell me, oh, my God, your backpack's unzipped. Mm. Like well, they, 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 I mean, I'm not out. saying there aren't lots of thieves mm. out there, but there are a ton of people who Which I'm sure a backpack isn't even the right Right. kind of person yeah, exactly <laughs> great all right great story, hey thanks for watching our youtube channel find your favorite recipes celebrity interviews uplifting stories shop our favorite deals and so much more with the today app download it now